folks, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been a little MIA, but I'm back and ready to give you a little nose update. I also did not realize how pale I am until I looked in the camera, that's a little spooky. I wanted to go over a little nose update, answer a bunch of questions that I've gotten, um, and just kind of fill you in. First things first, let's take a look at her, shall we? Here's the side, here's the left side, which I literally would have never shown you before. I think I did. Anyways, here's my perfect little nostrils. And I don't know, I think that's all the angles. I truly cannot tell you what a freaking difference this surgery has made in my life. I feel like a completely new person. I feel like it was truly like the best decision I've ever made for myself. Um, and I honestly, I always forget that I even got it done. Like it just feels, it's just, it feels like this is who I'm supposed to be. It feels like this is what my face is supposed to look like. I'm just the best version of myself. So I am six days away from being two months post-op, which I am so impressed with the level of swelling that I have right now, because it's like literally nothing. The only thing I think is like right here, I think is still a little swollen, but like you literally would never tell. Like my doctor is a literal magician. Um, I've been getting tons of questions about like who my doctor is and everything. So honestly, let's just let's just jump right into the Q and A. If you haven't seen the first video, go watch it. Honestly, it's like the whole experience. You don't want to miss it. Um, but obviously, I told you who my doctor was. But I'll tell you again. His name is Dr. Mike Roskies. I am going to name my firstborn child Dr. Mike Roskies, whether it's boy or girl. I, that's that's going to be their name. Um, I would die for him. Truly, would literally die for him. He gave me like a whole new sense of confidence. I think honestly, he's so freaking talented too. I think that's why I'm not as swollen. It was an ultrasonic preservation rhinoplasty. Like he did what he needed to do. It sucked for like two or three days. That's it. Everything else. Cast off appointment was not fun. No bueno, that was horrible. But that was like, what, 20 minutes of my life for like a lifetime of happiness. Okay, I am being annoying about this because so many people have asked me the cost and I don't know why, I just don't wanna share it like out openly in the video for like it to be, I don't know. I don't know why, it's just I don't wanna share it. Um, and I share everything with you guys, but like if you wanna message me, DM me on Insta or TikTok or whatever, I will gladly tell you the price. Again, don't ask me why I'm being so weird about it. I don't know. Another huge question I've gotten is the pain. And again, I think you should watch the first video if you haven't already, because I literally filmed the entire process and was super real and super honest with you guys. But honestly, of course, now that I'm not in the pain, it doesn't seem as bad. I'm sure it was worse then, but like I would say like maybe a five out of 10. And I am such a baby with pain. Like I, I have no pain tolerance, I'm horrible with it. So take that with like a little grain of salt. Another big question I get is how long it was until I could breathe again. Um, and honestly, as soon as those splints came on my nose, I could breathe in 4K. I could breathe okay before, honestly. Like breathing wasn't the issue I was having. I just didn't like the look of my nose. That's why I had the surgery. I'm not gonna lie and say like, I had a deviated septum. Like I did, but that's not why I had the surgery. Also got asked a lot when I could start to wear makeup again. And honestly, I'm pretty sure I wore a little bit of makeup to my cast off appointment. It was. I, even, I can't even reach. <laughs> your nose is gonna be super sensitive. You can't like take a makeup sponge and like beat the shit out of your nose, like obviously. I still use like a little brush and then like I can like gently pat it. I'm almost two months post-op and now like I could touch it without um, it hurting. But a funny thing is my tip is still hard and I think it always will be. And like, I don't care. Who's gonna touch stuff my nose and be like, oh, your nose is hard. And my biggest fear going into it honestly was going under anesthesia i've only had wisdom tooth surgery before this and like i was put out but like not like intubated or anything which like freaked me the hell out um so definitely like if i was to see any kind of like nose job content i'd always be like how oh, like how is the anesthesia like whatever honestly could not have been easier i went in the staff was literally so freaking sweet there like a Dr. Roski's like, let me put on Megan the Stallion. And he's like, anything you want to listen to. And I'm like, Megan the Stallion. Tell me why like thought shit comes on full, like explicit version. And they're just working around, pretend, like just ignoring it, like pretending it's not happening. I was literally dying. And then they put like a mask on, put some shit that got me real relaxed. And then I woke up. Like that's dead ass all I remember. And then like what feels like two seconds later, like you're awake and you're like, oh, I have a new nose. So I promise it's really not scary. And ask your surgeon like 
any question that you need to ask before going under. Like I literally said to um, like April, who's like the care coordinator there, I was like, what happens if I'm like paralyzed, but like awake, but you guys don't know I'm awake. She's like, she's like, it's not gonna happen. So like, even if you have like irrational fear, fears, talk to your surgeon or your nurse about it. Like, I'm sure they've heard it before. And it just like helps calm your nerves if it's something that you're nervous about. I was also asked how long it took for my stitches to fall out. So I had a closed rhinoplasty, which means all like my stitches and my scars were inside. Like he cut from the inside, he didn't cut on the outside. However, I do have scars like here. I don't think I have makeup on. Here, yeah, you can see them. Like there and there. Well, they're like here. Anyways, that's where I did have um, exterior stitches and in my ear, which I'll also show you. Hopefully it focuses. But yeah, so I, you can see the stitches there. Those got taken out, as you saw if you watched the last video, um, at the post-op appointment. So we actually like removed these stitches, which was really fun. Really great experience. So a week, he took them out, and probably about like three weeks after, the rest dissolved. I also had like a few little like knots, like stitches inside my nose and like little random places, and they've all come out since, so I'd probably say like a month after. Another question I've had is like, what's like the maintenance like afterwards? So the only thing that I've really had to do um, since I've kind of had my cast off and everything, um, I have to do a nasal rinse twice a day, which I usually probably do once a day, I'm being really honest with you. Um, but I just do it in the shower at night and honestly I used to hate it But now I like look forward to it. I'm like, yes, like clear that shit out and then I put scar gel on My ear and here which honestly I lost for about three weeks and I just found it. So we're gonna go back to the scar gel because I don't want these scars The main thing I've had people like comment on my TikTok. They're like, oh, do you regret it? Do you regret it? I'm like No Absolutely not. Are you kidding? Actually, he knew beforehand, like, that's all I talked about was how much I hated my nose. Like, I just, it was such a point of insecurity for me, and I'm just so, like, proud of myself for being brave enough to get that done, because it was scary, but I did it, and it's done, and I, I would do it, like, ten times over if I had to. I'd probably say those are the main questions that I've gotten about my nose job since I've had it done, and kind of been public about it. Um, however, I am always happy to answer questions. I've had so many people reach out to me on Instagram and TikTok DMs, and I'm more than happy to answer any, like, general questions. If you want to know the price, go ahead, DM me. Um, anything like that, I'm more than happy to answer. I've even, like, had deep conversations with people <laughs> about it with, like, complete strangers, but it's just something, like, I'm fine doing. I'm a very much a people person, so if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. I'm your girl if you want to know anything about the experience with Dr. Roski's. Um, if I get enough questions about it, I can make a whole other video about it. That is all for today, and comment if you have any other questions, and I can do another video, but I love you so much. Bye!